Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder Reacts here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 3, and it's actually been a, a little while since my last recording. Uh, pretty much the entire month of April, almost. It's been a, it's been a little while. Uh, I've had a birthday, I had people in town, I went out of town, I did lots of crazy stuff. Uh, some of that's being uploaded now, It's you're, you're seeing it, so... Yeah, uh, very, very busy time. So I did not get much recording done on this project, but I got other projects done. You know how I am in April. You you guys know. Why why am I even trying to explain this? You you know. So we're back in this fight that really was just doing nothing but pissing me off the first time I went through it. Not even the first time. I uh, I mentioned that I tried doing this one just to see what the layout was like because I was kind of concerned that I could see that there was, according to the guides, there was a boss, but I couldn't see the boss. I didn't see the map. So I wanted to see if it was, you know, scripted, how all that stuff worked, and the first time I went through it, I had no problems. But I didn't record it, so I wasn't going to keep it. It was just going to be, okay, this is how I got a couple of turns in, no problems. And then when I actually went to record it, I just people would die left and right, terrible mistakes. I was just it was painful. It was just frustratingly painful. There's no reason why it should have been that difficult, really. Especially since I had just done it and it was fine. That's what makes no sense to me. Alright, uh, we don't need Aura level 3, Aura level 2 will do it. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I just want to make sure the bulk of my force is healed before that Skullfish comes over. Because I don't know what his damage is going to be like. And it seems that most of my force was already healed. Okay, there were a couple of people that needed a little bit of health. It's Honesty, the Pegasus Knight, who is going to join this fight. She has not done anything in this fight. I'm going to let her do something this fight because she needs to do something, this fight. And this is probably not good. There's a good chance I'm being very, very st ah, stupid. I was going to cast slow. Mostly because the fact that I've got most of my force, you know, nicely, you know, grouped, a freeze level 3 is gonna hurt. A lot. And I kinda wanna get everyone to level 20 in this fight, but now that the boss is kinda coming after me, uh, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kill what I can kill, which is going to be those two hell succubi. And you're going to go after Gracia, which scripted, I can see that. Flying fish model again, except a lot creepier looking. And Red Dragon's useless. Uh, we're going to heal Gracia. Why are we going to heal Gracia? Because I'm scared that those two succubi are going to do the same thing and just make a beeline for Gracia and freeze level 3 him, along with everyone around him. Alright, you don't need... you can... you can cast magic. What magic you got? That you can actually use. Windigo. Or... I could have some fun. Let's have some fun. 
because we haven't used this on someone who it actually works with. Drain level 2 to actually absorb MP. I'm kinda curious as to how much MP I get back. 23! Holy crap, that's amazing! She is a rather broken character. And she's going to be in every party that I use from now on. And we stun palm the skullfish. Alright, that hell succubus isn't going to do much of anything other than attack Spirial, which is borderline pointless. And you're gonna attack Thousand, which is a little less pointless, but still close. Alright, we want Honesty to get in here. She's not done anything this fight. I want her to get at least one of the kills. And not that that's gonna be a problem in any way, shape, or form. Let me see who else is close to what level. Julian is 19. He can level up in just a moment. Thousand, 19. Leon needs a kill. Leon needs a kill. Leon will be our next killer. Julian, however, will attack the Skullfish. And level up off that. Now some, and he learned Spark level 4 at 20. Julian is now our Lightning God of Death. And come on, who's 19? You're 19. You can get a kill. Because you need one. And whoever else is 19 can go attack the Skullfish. Even Frodon. Frodon! Have fun with that. The Skullfish will never get a turn! That was basically just 6 XP for Proton. Hey look, Spiriel, you're... capable of killing a boss. You're beyond capable of killing a boss. And you leveled up to 20, fantastic! And we get a healing drop. That makes up for the one that I just used on Gracia. Not that it matters, I've got more money than I know what to do with, except uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna end up getting some of the the higher end craftable items soon. So, now we can get some peaceful rest. No, not gonna happen. That house is coming down. I kind of want a flying house. Look at the house close. Okay. What about it? It's glowing. It's ghosts! Yeah, they could be. The evil creatures are gone! Yep, I'm a badass. We do not belong on this side of the wall, you idiots. Yep, we're from the other side.
It signals the end of the Thousand Year War. The battle between the Innovators and the Vandals. Everything with them involves thousands. Thousand Year Kingdom, Thousand Year War. Ah, uh, yeah, um... That's the kid next to us. We're very tired. Yeah, the fate of the world's not at stake or anything. Yeah. Alright, so we get to go stay at the base. Yay, bases! I do love the. Can this wait till tomorrow? We're very tired. Fate of the world and everything, but we're 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 sleepy. What a beautiful morning! All right, so now we should be able to investigate the town. Eavesdropping little fairy. I don't care to be called knight. Well, you are a knight. Primula. And supposedly Primula is related to the fairies from Shining the Holy Ark and the fairy at the beginning of the game you see with uh, Master Gabriel. Obviously not the same fairy as with Master Gabriel, because Primula is wearing a hat. Because hats denote all the difference. I don't want to go explore the town. I don't want to talk to people. There's cool stuff all about your town that I want to pillage. I don't trust that wobbling shit on the side of the house. Master Gabriel. So, that is Master Gabriel from the beginning of the game. So, is that the same fairy? Shouldn't be. The other fairy was the one from Shining Wisdom, not Primula. And I thought Gabriel lived in a tree, according to, I mean, at least what his house looked like. It looked like he lived in a giant freaking tree. Anyway, we meet Master Gabriel! Yeah... Uh, we didn't meet you! children, apparently. Yeah, we need the evolution ceremony, so tell us about that. Screw the 
this noise, I'm stepping outside. And we're flying. So there's Ark Hill. That mountain range there. The ground appears to be a desert. Your first trial is to transform it into a hill. We get to make a giant sand castle, is that what you're saying? More like an ancient monument. Gracie gets it, that's all that matters. And we can see that shrine. Yeah. Apparently, their houses can go as high up as they want them to. That's kind of awesome. We're even higher than Lookout Point now. But the machine can't keep us up here for very long, so get a quick look. Look out to the clouds. That looks ominous, doesn't it? Further away is Bullsum Shrine. To the left and right of the shrine are square towers. It's written in the old book. I love that they have flying houses, but they don't really have communication for inside the house to, you know, the balcony area up there. Yeah, tell us how to reach the shrine. Gabriel seems to be just as, uh... Just as absent-minded here as he is in the opening. She will join the Julian army! She used to live in the town of Inric. She participated in the battle against the Vandal and knew Julian very well. So she is one of the... Holy Ark... Fairies. Gom was living there, and so was Julian's father. Young Julian was a small boy, but not particularly strong. But now he's become a strong man. So now she's evolved to where she can fight without the aid of the other pixies, it seems. Primula the Fairy! I, I kind of want to look up her stats and see where she was found in Holy Ark and... put that information into uh, the description.
the book's not there. Apparently it has. The Bullzone took the book. So apparently the Bull's Home took the book. And now we're kind of boned. Yes, to our kill. We must go forward! Yeah, we'll figure things out as we go. That's how this is tending to work. Alright, so now we are in control of Julian. We can kind of wander around and do what we want. And... Not really anything... There's Hair Restore and a wig. There's really not anything in this house that I know of. So we are... Pretty... Well, I mean... Yeah. We'll go ahead and leave. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save it, because I'm at 22 minutes about there, so... Uh, I'll save it. Not worry too much about it. And we'll investigate and raid the village for everything that's worth. And then we will continue on to our kill. So till then, later everyone.